Let's go. Every week, Hassan Al Galili enjoys helping out his local community as a soccer referee. Whoa. But he admits the role sometimes makes him a target on the field. It is quite sad, but I have seen a bit of a rise in in verbal abuse and dissent. Football New South Wales says it has seen an increase in reports of abuse towards referees. Just last week, a match official was left with a broken jaw after he was attacked by a spectator at a local game in southwestern Sydney. In response, Bankstown District Amateur Football Association is trialling body cameras for referees in some men's matches from tonight. We are the very, very first country to be trialling body cams. The UK began a similar trial earlier this year with about 100 referees from grassroots clubs. It's a great, great way to, as a deterrent, it's going to, I think, stop a lot of players approaching refs and from now on it's not going to be like a he said, she said thing. Some spectators are on board. It's going to protect them and if there's unfair cause, it's proven on the camera. Others say more education is needed. Every club should hold a meeting and let them know that um, the, the referees are there to do their job and not to be attacked. In a show of solidarity, many local soccer clubs are making a special effort this week to support referees and stamp out violence in community sport. Football Canterbury is encouraging all its teams to form a guard of honour for match officials. It's showing that the people who are participating in the game have the utmost respect for the for the people who are officiating the game. A sign of true sportsmanship. Lydia Feng, ABC News, Sydney.